Hey everybody, Brian Bridge Bug Man. Uh, look, ever since I got back from Arizona, there's been a lot of questions, a lot of comments. A lot of people really interested in uh, all the bugs, how I take care of them, where I keep them. I, my, the most common question I get is, where do you keep all this stuff? I keep it right here in this bug, in the Bug Man room. Um, most of my insect collection, my preserved collection is here, as well as all the live bugs. I keep the room heated, which is not the best thing to do if you have an insect collection up here, but I have to do that for the sake of the live bugs. So I keep it heated up here, and at the same time, uh, it allows me to keep everything in one place. Just simplifies my day. Admittedly, I probably I don't feed all this stuff as often as I should. Um, I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way to do it, but I know my system works and I can keep a lot of this stuff alive for years at doing what things the way I do it. I'm gonna take you with me today. We're gonna feed all the live bugs. I have some lettuce that I got today at the store. I got that for the cockroaches. I will also put a little bit of lettuce in each one of the regular live bug things for the crickets that I put in there in order to feed them. Because keep in mind, all the spiders, all the tarantulas, all the scorpions all get crickets. Uh, everybody else either gets fruit or they get uh, lettuce. And I already gave the darkling beetle a little bit of fruit yesterday, so I'm going to give him a little bit of lettuce today and he'll probably appreciate that. Actually, I gave him some fruit and some carrots, so he's probably okay today, but we're going to give him that anyway. Anyway, guys, here's the deal. You stop at the pet store. I don't I don't care what pet store you have your favorite. Everybody has their favorites. And you buy some crickets. And they did not do a good job of keeping air in these crickets. I'm pretty disappointed in uh, the person that did this today. I'm kind of upset, but it is what it is. I've got to find a way to create a little bit of breathing room for these guys, um, because if not, I'm gonna have bunches and bunches of dead crickets. But I think I got to them in time. Um, all the air that she apparently didn't put in there uh, even got worse and it deflated entire bag deflated so not cool but oh well um i have some really small crickets so i'm going to feed these to the bark scorpions and the little striped tail scorpion that i have i got two of each actually so we're going to get to that here in a minute but i do want to take you through the setup start to finish so uh we're in the room now all lights are all on everybody's awake and disturbed it's also later in the evening i know i normally don't feed i usually feed midday and then i let them all go in the evening and then they chow down on the food um, so I'm going to walk you through all this stuff. First and foremost, let's take care of the cockroaches. This is kind of a no-brainer, unless you, unless you don't have cockroaches and you don't know, in which case that's fine. So let's take a look. We've already talked about the fact that I keep my cockroaches one. I'm keeping the boys and the girls together right now because I'm, I'm trying to get a bunch of babies and that's working real well. I got a bunch of babies in there. At the same time, I will eventually separate them back into two separate containers. But because there's babies in here, I also keep them in one of these laundry bag nets. And I found that even if the little babies escape, they generally don't leave this laundry bag. They kind of tuck themselves away. So I like having this thing here. Keep it real simple. I can get in and out of there with no problem at all. And I just use a, a clip to keep this thing secure. For the lettuce, I either use leftover lettuce from salad or whatever. Leftover veggies. Sometimes I'll do uh, carrot peelings or potato peels. Just throw some in there. <laughs> and it doesn't get much easier than this. Uh, I like to use romaine lettuce, but they did not have romaine lettuce today, so I bought regular green leafy lettuce. Uh, I don't know if the bugs really care. I know they get more nutrition out of the romaine, so that is something probably worth pointing out. Um, oops, and I forgot to put the lid back on. That would be a problem. <laughs> and that is kind of how easy those guys are. Let's kind of move down the list here or the lineup a little bit. This is Roxy. Above Roxy is Jasmine and Jasmine is beautiful. She's looking real good. Jasmine is a Brazilian black tarantula. Uh, she's new and she'll be going out on the road shortly. I've had her out on the road once already for a program. She did amazing. They handle beautifully, but I don't take her out for the younger audiences yet. She's just a little bit skittish yet. So I don't like to take tarantulas out on the road that are going to be jumpy. So people don't like that and neither do the tarantulas. They don't appreciate the public that quickly. You're going to notice now what I'm doing is I start opening everything. Everything gets opened so that I can down the line, drop crickets in everything. Makes it super, super simple. This is the new Arizona Blonde female. She does not have a name yet because I'm still waiting for people on the comments to give her a name. And I'd really like to get her a name soon. She will not be a, a handling kind of tarantula. She's probably never going to be handled by the public, but at the same time, she handles beautifully. We got her in Arizona last week. Outstanding. 
outstanding, beautiful, one of the most beautiful Arizona blonde tarantulas I've ever seen. She's, she's amazing. For being wild and fresh out of the wild, the, the video that we had when we got her, she right away, she was in my hands and being held. So that's just proof, that's just proof that these, you know, these tarantulas aren't a bad thing. That's, they're just not out there hurting anybody. Scorpions, bunches of scorpions. Got Kevin and I have Kevin's, this is his holding self for now. Kevin's pretty cool. Come here, buddy. Relax. Relax, relax. He's a little hyped up because it's nighttime, but he's gonna eat. He probably knows he's gonna eat too, so that probably kind of helps a little bit. I don't know if these, oh, these guys actually know or not. Hard to tell. Again, I'm just opening everybody to make it super easy for me to walk across here and sort of pour crickets in. Everybody who eats crickets. These are the stripies. These are the barkies. This is another. This is Jeffrey. He's another one of my. Asian forests, amazing. I love these guys, they're so good out on the road. Here's a backup with no name. Another Asian forest. This one also does not have a name. Instead of taking the lids all the way off these guys, I just loosen them up so I can lift them. Because if I pull them off, a lot of times, they come right up and out of them. Here's my other backup. Now these are, what I'm doing here, I have, I have these backup Asian forest scorpions because I am hoping Desperately hoping right now that I can hire somebody else locally for programs and then I can just hook them up with the bugs that they're going to need for those programs once they're all trained and ready to go. So yeah, if you know anybody looking to do bug man programs, they need to hit me up because I got some work available just for what it's worth. Everybody's ready to go. All the containers are open. So all I got to do is come through and drop, 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 drop. And you'll notice I got everybody nicely opened up. So all I have to do is come up through here and drop crickets in everybody's containers. And I'm going to make a whole lot of bugs real happy. So we're going to start out with the small crickets. We're going to feed the little bark scorpions and we're gonna feed the striped tails. These guys right here, those are the striped tails and those are the bark scorpions. Super easy, watch out. Watch how difficult this is to feed these bugs. I go dribble, dribble, dribble. There's five or six in there. And there's five or six in there. That should be it, I only got 10. Okay, good, done. So these go closed and they're done. We'll start all the way down here at the bit and begin to work our way back up to the tarantulas. You guys can see what's going on. Yeah, they really messed this bag up. This makes me mad because they didn't leave me much here. So here we go, man. We're gonna, gonna dribble probably one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's already that quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Good for him. Ooh, a bunch for him, but I don't appreciate it. Probably six I just dropped in there for him. Last but not least for Kevin. <laughs> I can hear everybody chowing down, man. Whip scorpions are done. The Asian forest scorpions are done. And now we're gonna go with the desert hair scorpions. So let's watch this. Love these guys, man, and they're great eaters. Again, these guys, we got these guys in Arizona last week. Nice collage of crickets in there. There's about eight, nine crickets in there. Same thing with this one. They're done. Okay. Hey folks, be sure you like and subscribe to what's going on here. If you like this channel, then tap that subscribe button and let us know how much you appreciate it. Get in on some of the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel and offer whatever support you can because we always appreciate everything our fans are doing for us. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Take care. Six, seven, I think, just fell in there. Two, at least seven. So he'll be good. I can, I can hear the scorpions over here chasing them. That's great. Tells me everybody's eating. Okay, here we go. Coming down across. This is my little male Arizona blonde. He's good. This girl. We'll see if she's. See if she But he's in her house. Where she goes, bam! Do you see that? 
Coblamo. She is awesome, man. I love how well she eats. Brand new out of Arizona desert, she eats like a champ. That's such a good thing to see. Uh, I always worry when I, you know, I bring bugs home fresh like that because you never quite know, man. You don't, you just don't know how they're gonna, how they're really gonna do. Let's give Jasmine something to eat. I'm not gonna get too much with her. She's not used to getting a dozen or ten of them. She's used to getting one at a time. Right here's Jasmine. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> she smashed that thing. That was awesome. Such good eaters. I love it. She just smashed that thing and ran into her house. All right, here's Penelope. Everybody likes Penelope. And Roxy. I think we're going to be done. Yeah, man. How hard was that, right? Everybody's excited. Everybody's hungry. And everybody's eating right now. Just about everybody's got a cricket in their mouth. Guys. Awesome. Now I'm going to throw a couple in with the millipedes up here. Um, and I do this one because it's just convenient. They kind of clean up some of the millipedes, you know, the stuff the millipedes don't get to. And also they stay alive a little longer now because of that. So I usually have crickets for another day and I don't have to do anything. I just uh, feed the millipedes and in doing so crickets eat well and then they all live happily ever after. Uh, the rest of these I'm probably going to put in with the hissing cockroaches because they do really well in there as well. And I can usually get about another week or so out of if anything I put with the cockroaches. I think we're done. I'm gonna drop one or two more in here. So everybody's eating, man. She's eating. There she just grabbed, tried to grab another one. She's got one in her mouth and she just tried to grab another one. That's freaking cool. Uh, Willow is in there. She looks like she's eating. I can't tell for sure. If she, she's facing down in her down in her lair there, so I can't really tell. Penelope hasn't eaten yet, but I had Penelope out on the road today, so I don't think I doubt Penelope's gonna eat for quite a while. She'll probably hold for a couple hours before she eats. Roxy looks like she's eating one right now, but I can't really tell. And Jasmine is definitely eating. Man, she smashed that thing. So that was cool. Uh, I like to see good eaters. It makes me happy. All right, guys, that's kind of it, man. That's, you know, if you have quick, people with questions about it, where do I keep the live bugs and, and do I keep all this stuff at my house? I get that all the time. Do you keep all this stuff at your house? Where else am I gonna keep it? Oh, I gotta keep it here because I use it. This is headquarters. This is where I base out of, so I gotta have it here. So we're uh, we're gonna be all done with these guys again. I got a couple little, couple more in this bag. I gotta toss in here with the hissers, and I'm not gonna bother showing you that. That's no, that's not exciting. Either way, man, we're all done feeding bugs at Bugman headquarters, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, man. We did it. We did it. We're monetized. Thank you so much, folks. You guys did this, man. You guys make this possible. Because of that, I might actually be able to pay for some gas now when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So, so, so grateful to everybody out there. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you like the content. I'm glad you enjoy what we do out there educating the public. Guys, I'm out of here again. Be well. Be safe. Let's all be kind. We'll see you.